Hi, I'm Don. Today we have a new video painting format. I call this a recipe painting video. This video is focused not on the technique or the painting technique, not on the application of the paints, but the paint themselves. We will be painting this Mammoth Factory miniature model and I'll share with you my base recipe. Base recipe is simply like the base colors that I use for the skin of this red dragon. I tried to limit my palette but as usual I use a bit more than I needed to. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. So this video is inspired from like the Citadel format of painting miniatures. I'm not sure what it's called but basically they have this base color and then recess or shades and then um, like a simple, a simpler format for people that are new to painting. The format works really well because if you buy like the base color, the highlight color, which is also the base color, and the shades or even the contrast paints, you come out with really good painting even if you just paint it with basic, like the basic format. So this video is for people who like painting with Vallejo paints and they will have like a quick reference for a red dragon skin using Vallejo paint so it's easier for you to shop if you're off to shopping some new Vallejo collection we start painting the base of the model with devil red from the Vallejo Nocturna set this is basically looks like Carmine Red from Model Colors. It has a magenta-ish purplish red color, which is what I'm aiming for. I was trying to come up with a more realistic dragon skin color. <laughs> if there is such a thing, is there is no realistic dragon. But I'm not going for the usual very bright red which uses like red vermilion or dark vermilion or vermilion or even bloody red from the game color green color range so i'm going for a like a more magenta skin color so we started with devil red the devil red took me around a couple of thin coats to get a full coverage but three Three thin coats will give you a full coverage if you're going for that. Now we're painting red violet or violet red. This is also semi-transparent much like reds and I did not thin it too much. I just add a bit of thinner medium and applied it on the model. Violet red is naturally transparent so do not water down too much if you don't like using mediums because you'll get a really transparent color. However, two to three thin coats or heavier coats will give you a nice full coverage with violet red. After painting the violet red at the back of the wing, we also use this color to paint some areas, shade areas, shadow areas of the model. Since reds, devil red, and violets, violet red are semi-transparent, you could see that we have a zenithal effect. It kind of maximizes like the zenithal primer that we use on this model. Now we build up the colors of the wing membrane, the inner wing membrane with a mixture of beige red and devil red. You could actually paint the beige red on the inner membrane of the wing and give it like a couple of thin coats so that you have a full coverage. But I was going for a more like a painting that has more depth so I kind of slowly built up the texture by painting with quick linear strokes and mixing different colors and shades with devil red and beige red to create more depth. You can see in the video I'm using a number 2 fat brush from red grass but it has a fine point so it helps me create really quick strokes 
that are still fine but your brush is loaded with paint so you don't really need to dip it once in a while so the painting is quicker with this big brush we are basically sketching linear strokes on the wing membrane and we're just we're letting the transparency the natural transparency of the paints to build up so that we have a really nice depth with the same colors which means that we create different like tonal values because of the natural transparency of the thin paints and yet we have really fine lines that gives an illusion that the model is more detailed than it is. Now it's a matter of just building up thin layers of beige red and devil red but this time we're mixing more beige red so that we have a lighter color and it kind of pulls away from our devil red base color. The plan here is to create finer lines so I switch to the red grass detail brush. Also I'm using our highlight sauce to keep the detail brush wet and fresh longer than just using water. The highlight sauce will delay the drying time of the paints on the detail brush for maybe a minute or two and you still have to wash your brush once in a while in a cup of water but you use the highlight sauce to paint those really fine lines to create more depth to the wing membrane. Painting wing membranes is actually very fun as long as you rotate the model so that you find where you're most comfortable of painting quick like linear strokes. I'm comfortable painting it downwards. So I rotated the model so that I could quickly paint linear strokes downwards. So that's our base recipe with our base colors and we have a tabletop ready miniature. Well, at least the skin. Now we push the contrast of our model by painting lighter colors on top of our base color recipe. That's good. You may mix lighter colors like sunny skin tone, ivory, even deck tan, or even white to your base colors to come up with lighter colors. But with this one, I wanted a quick fix. Like, I wanted to see a the look if we continue to build up from the base color. So I just selected colors that are lighter than our base colors. At this point of the painting, I'm not really pushing for golden lemon standard. I just wanted to see if our base recipe works. So we're quickly just painting some lighter colors and textures on top of our model. Again, we're using our highlight sauce and our detail brush from Red Grass to paint more highlights to our model. I'm pretty happy with the recipe so far. Now we move on to adding a bit of recess or shades to our model to really see if the recipe works. I gave a game blue wash a chance and use it to paint the recess areas but after drying it gave me some like foggy areas around the deeper recess areas of the model so I'm really not a fan of washes and I highly recommend that you use like contrast paints for this or better yet you could use Vallejo inks for painting the recesses. Inks remain transparent forever and thus even if you paint them along areas that are black or really dark, you don't get foggy stuff or cloudiness and again they will remain transparent and you'll get better results. Now we have a red dragon skin recipe. Again, I'm not going for the really bright red which is using dark vermilion or bloody red from the game color range. We're going, we went for a more realistic dragon skin and we came up with this model. I cannot call this golden lemon standard yet because I have yet to paint the highlights and more shades on the model. I like to paint the rest of the model first before we push it to golden lemon standard. So we have to paint the gold NMM armor and the cloth, the cloak and stuff before we could push the highlights further and add more details. 
That's it, Pansit. I hope you like this recipe video. Give the video a thumbs up if you like the new format. That's it. We're done. I hope you like the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!